There are many brilliant companies out there providing advanced research on cryptocurrency projects. And in today's video, we are going to remind you of another called Glass Node. So as you can see here, you can just type Glass Node with a colon into the search box and immediately you will be presented with all of the advanced data about various cryptocurrency projects and you can chart that data with one simple click. This is called on-chain analytics. On-chain analytics. And these are the fundamentals behind a cryptocurrency. So of course, we are all familiar with charting price. Price tells us how much a cryptocurrency is worth. It tells us the trend of that cryptocurrency. It tells us where that cryptocurrency has come from, where it was, and where it is today. We can perform all sorts of drawings on our charts. We can switch up the time frames, change the chart style, anything to our needs. But remember, there is one aspect of cryptocurrency that is getting more and more important as adoption and interest increases, and that is on-chain analytics. So if you type in Glassnode, for example, you will now access advanced data sets from the very smart, smart people at Glassnode. So what does this mean? Well, as an example, you can see things such as USDT supply. So this is the total amount of all tokens ever issued or created for Tether. Or if you scroll down, you can see BTC supply. If you hover your mouse over the description, you can see a pop-up that says Bitcoin, the total amount of all Bitcoins ever created. You can see new addresses the number of unique addresses that appeared for the first time in a Bitcoin transaction. Well, that seems pretty significant. If we want to study the fundamentals of Bitcoin, if we want to see if people are adopting it, if new people are coming into the marketplace, well, this seems like a fundamental data set or an on-chain analytic that you want to have access to. Type in Glassnode, you'll see the list here, and you can just click. You could also simply type in new addresses and you would also see it. So think about how important this data set is. This is all new addresses at the time of a Bitcoin transaction all the way back to 2009. And if you just kind of move your mouse throughout, throughout history, you can see how many new Bitcoin addresses were coming online. In fact, the peaks here are up around 500 and 600,000 and today it's sort of around 350,000. So this type of data is the underlying business for something like Bitcoin. It is the underlying adoption and you have access to that in the search box. So you can just type in new addresses or you can type in Glassnode and all of this data will be available to you just like that. And it's really at uh, your fingertips. It's up to you to learn how you want to use it. There is no such thing as, you know, just one way to use this data. It is vast. It spans many different cryptocurrency projects. And it can be interpreted, studied, or charted in all sorts of different ways. Also, some of it is fairly complex to the point where you need to know about minor operations or how crypto miners work. For example, this says BTC difficulty. So this is a data set for Bitcoin. And if you hover your mouse over the description, it says the current estimated number of hashes required to mine a block. So this is sort of measuring the difficulty of Bitcoin as it progresses through time for miners. And once again, at the search box, we can type in Glassnode and get access to all of these on-chain analytics once again and pay close attention how you can endlessly scroll to find all sorts of new on-chain analytics for your charting for your research for your trading and investing and this is one important thing that all cryptocurrency investors and traders should remember while yes there is price we'll say it again there is price and you can study price and you can plan ahead and you can change your time frame. We can go even to the one minute to see what's really happening. We can add some volume to see some real time volume here. You can do all of this, but one important thing does remain. You are going to want to understand the fundamentals behind it. And if you can learn to chart the price 
and the fundamentals with tools from our symbol search here, you're going to understand the project that you are trading or investing at an even deeper level. And remember, you can find all sorts of different on-chain analytics just by typing in keywords. So for example, if you do type in BTC, you're going to see all of the different symbols that have BTC in it. You'll see all of the different sources that have BTC in it. And we have all selected here, so it's every data set that is out there on TradingView is now right here, one click away. And if you use the scroll, you can just keep scrolling until you find something new or interesting that maybe you missed. This one looks particularly unique. It says BTC USD shorts, and that must mean that there's some level of charting uh, how many people are a BTC USD short. And remember, you can see your data sources here on the right, so you can pick the data source that is of interest to you. In addition, if you do have a on-chain analytic immediately in mind, like hash rate, well, guess what? You can type in hash rate, and you're going to get all of the uh, uh, symbols and, and on-chain analytics that are available to you, such as dash hash rate, BTC hash rate, ZEC hash rate, Doge hash rate, all right here. So that is the key to this video. It is a reminder of on-chain analytics, the importance of them, and how you can use them to further your understanding of a crypto, a token, a crypto project, anything in between, and to really know that next dimension of cryptocurrency, which isn't just price, which isn't just volume, which is not even an indicator, a metric, or a strategy, but it's actually the on-chain analytics available to you, such as hash, rate, hash rates or miners or anything of the sort, or going straight to the source, such as Glassnode. So thank you so much for watching, and we hope that this video helps you get started.